live with Dragon. So it's week 13. I think the last video I posted was week 10. Could also have been week 11. Don't quote me. But I thought I'd hop back on here and provide some context in terms of the healing process. One of the things that I wanted to do when I reheard this disc was obviously document my return to greatness. It has been a rocky road, as I've detailed. Um, I think the last video we talked about peptides, inversion tables, and online coaching. Um, in totality, I have stopped the inversion table for now. I'm focusing strictly on the exercises that my online coaching is prescribing. Now, being the dragon that I am, the A-type personality, I have done more than I probably should have. Not in terms of training with weights. I'm talking about acupuncture, soft tissue, hot cold therapy, McGill, core strengthening, walking 15 to 20,000 steps per day. As you guys are well aware, the dragon does what the dragon does, but that doesn't always work out in my favor as I've discussed with said online coach. So I'm going to continue to talk about these things in terms of what's working, what's not working for me right now. I think the pain levels are definitely being driven lower. Am I pain free? Absolutely not. Some wins, I'm able to sit for longer. I don't know about you guys, but not being able to sit for 12 weeks is a pain in my applesauce. I'm sure you feel the same way. Positions that we feel good in are prone, supine, and obviously on our sides. For some people, maybe not so much, but, and I, have, I find a lot of comfort in standing and walking. I can walk a lot. It helps uh, lubricate the joints and I feel good when I do it. Um, I think what I need to continue to work on is how do I pull back? I'm so accustomed to training five days, six days, mobility, cardio, nutrition dialed in. I need to worry about just kind of like regrounding myself, not overstepping what my capabilities are. I don't know if that's comparable to what you guys are doing right now, but I think in totality, if you have a program that you're running, make sure that you are able to track progress week over week. Um, if you're using an online coach, that's where obviously feedback is so important. If you're not using an online coach, maybe create a journal or an Excel sheet, something that you can detail in terms of pain symptoms, Mobility, how far can you bend backwards? How far can you bend forward? Can you sit? Are you able to tie your shoes? I know for a long time I couldn't tie my own shoes. Had to have the wife do it. A little embarrassing, have the wife put your socks on and tie your shoes. That's not the, uh, the alpha male that I wanna be. Usually, and I'm gonna say this outright, I have notes prepared for these videos and I will look at the notes as I speak. I wanna be a little bit more off the cuff not always, but in this particular video, I think I want to be. Um, just say how I feel. It's been a, been a rocky road, rocky road. A lot of changes have been made. There's not a day that goes by where I don't want to get back in the weight room. For you guys, maybe it's doing sports or activities or going out with your friends, getting some drinks, maybe some, uh, some good food, all that fun stuff. But I will say, if you can remain diligent in the process, and make it your number one priority to heal, right? You will see progression. And that progression has a cascading effect. It's more motivating. Better sleep at night, you know? Maybe you can do, go out and have some fun every now and then. I was, for the first time in, like I said, 13 or so weeks, I was actually able to meet a friend out on Monday. We got some food. Had to have the wife drive, and I was in the trunk. It's a longer car, so it wasn't too bad, but we got it done. Things are definitely looking up. I hope they're looking up for you. If you have questions, comments, concerns, just as we always do, feel free to reply to the video, ask me questions, you know, I'm here to help. Um, as I've told you guys before, I do coaching myself. I do it for nutrition, more of a bodybuilding standpoint, but I'm also starting to do a lot more for the back health. Everything that I learn is being delegated out to clients. And I'm in a constant state of learning because my ass is grounded right now. I can't do too much. I want to get back in the gym. I want to put on the muscle. If you've seen some of my Instagram posts, at the Kreitzer, 
you know that I was 260 in offseason. I was getting ready to maybe make another push up into my highest weight ever, 270, 280, and then naturally I get cocked back down. So maintaining at about 225, 230 right now, and I think that's a lot healthier from a cardiovascular standpoint and also from a healing standpoint. Will I get back to that weight? You bet your ass I will after I do what's necessary to heal. That's the video update for the Dragon. Like I said, week 13, I don't have a timeline for when I get back to the training with weights. It's not my priority. My priority right now is be a better husband, be a better father, do the things that I used to do as best I can, and obviously work with my online clients. Like I said, all that time, baby, is being delegated to those clients, relegated rather, to those clients. And maybe a little bit of pool fun which I will be getting into shortly. Dragon, ouch.